sorry. I've, I've never done this before, very clearly. Um, anyway, it was supposed to work through the event page, but it was not working at all. And uh, it said there were errors on Facebook and stuff. So this is just regular playing through my page. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, I just wanted to play a couple little things tonight because I've been completely useless for the last week. Um, I play in the Baltimore Symphony and they canceled our Mahler 3 performance the day of last Thursday and I went like four days without playing the oboe, which I never do, and I sort of fell into this deep funk. Well, I'm sure everyone's in a deep funk. I mean, the world is crazy right now. Um, and I, I didn't do anything but just drink a lot of coffee and do yard work and I smashed my head. And anyway, um, I decided I needed to probably play the oboe for people um, or I'll lose my mind. Um, so I want to talk about playing the oboe alone, which is a very bizarre thing to do. Most people don't do it. I played a bunch of concerts um, earlier this season of oboe alone, which sort of happened when the Baltimore Symphony got locked out. And so I was like, well, I got to do something with myself. So I started playing the oboe alone. Um, and now we're locked in instead of locked out. I'm kind of locked in my house. Um, my husband's in healthcare. Uh, he's like emergent uh, essential personnel, so he has to go to work, but the rest of us are locked down as most everybody else should be. Um, so I'm playing the oboe by myself. I can kind of play along with myself on the piano, but you're really limited when you play the oboe anyway. Um, there's a lot of people say it's limited repertoire. People expect oh, violin solo or cello solo or piano solo, but not oboe solo. The first piece I want to pay, play for you is by George Philip Telemann. And he wrote 12 fantasies for the flute. And as you realize, this is definitely not the flute. Um, and uh, when Telemann wrote this, um, they may have been performed on the violin as well. It wouldn't have used the low, lowest G string of the violin. Um, but this is pretty clearly written for the flute. But um, in Baroque times, um, it was uh, something that's sort of relevant today. They kind of went with whatever they had. So uh, right now we're going with whatever we have and whatever I have is just the oboe. Um, oboe players have played these pieces for a long time. Um, this is the first of 12 fantasies that Telemann wrote. They may have been for amateur flutists or people who just played by themselves at home. You have to think, um, you know, 300 years ago, what were people doing at home? Maybe kind of the sort of same stuff we're doing right now on lockdown. Um, but, you know, they didn't have internet, they didn't have Facebook Live, and they would entertain each other with music. And so everybody kind of played, or people, more people played than do now. And um, so, so here are some pieces, uh, very much like Bach's Well-Tempered Clavier, I think Telemann tried to use all of the keys. He wrote uh, 12 fantasies, the first one is in A major, that's the one I'm going to play tonight, then A minor, then B minor, then B flat major, C major, D minor, D major, E minor, E major, F sharp minor, G minor, G major. So most of the keys that you know he thought the flute could use then. Um, so I think they were definitely sort of learning pieces. But you know professionals can play them too. You can always uh, expand your um, your range with them, and also uh, you are sort of expected to improvise uh, along and and add flourishes to the music. So that gives you a lot of flexibility from sort of student to um, more seasoned player. Anyway, this is the first um, the first Telemann fantasy in A major. Um, this is just an old junky laptop, so I'm going to step back and you tell me if I'm overloading it so that I find the right place to stand. Tell me if it sounds okay. <laughs> Is it okay? Oh, two loves. Wow. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna stand stand back there. Sorry, it's not a not a fancy um, microphone. Maybe someday. Okay, this is the first Telemann fantasy in A major. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, that's uh, Telemon Fantasy number one. I have never had uh, an experience like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, you see, you have to watch yourself play it. That's kind of freaky. And you see the little likes and loves, thank you, <laughs> coming in uh, very bizarre. Um, but I guess it's the wave of the next, uh, the future, at least the next um, few weeks. I hope to do this some more. Uh, next piece I want to play is um, by the English composer Ruth Gipps. Uh, most people haven't heard of Ms. Gipps. And this is a piece called The Piper of Dreams, Opus 12b, written in 1940. Um, so, yeah, it was World War II. Um, so those were also crazy times. Uh, Ruth Gipps was very young when she wrote this piece, only 19. Um, to me, she's really a very fascinating figure in um, last century's music. We don't know a lot about her and her music in the way that we know about the other British composers from that time, like Benjamin Britten or Ralph von Williams, Ralph von Williams. Um, she studied with von Williams, and uh, she was a very, very fine pianist. She made a good uh, amount of her career playing the Brahms piano concertos, so she had to be very good to play those. She also um, was a conductor well before women were traditionally conducting. Um, but she made her money playing second oboe in a lot of uh, the orchestras in London. So she knew the oboe very well. And she wrote a number of pieces that I've just discovered in the last year for oboe. Fantastic, fantastic music. Um, she has such a unique voice, um, so much, so much color. Um, anyway, this piece, I, I can't believe people don't play it. It was written 13 years before Benjamin Britten's uh, seminal work, uh, The Six Metamorphoses after Ovid. Um, and I think, you know, there weren't a lot of pieces written for oboe alone before that Britten piece that sort of, uh, you know, set the standard. Um, but I just wanted to point out that this piece that I'm going to play happened, it, it was written 13 years before, uh, before that Britten piece. And it's short and it's sort of like the Telemann in its, in its structure. Um, it's not a great way to end a concert, but I'm going to end it anyway with this. Um, I, I hope you enjoy it. I, I really love this piece. Hang on, I gotta use music for this one. Let's see if I can put this one in there. Gotta get my uh, iPad pedal working. Sorry, I don't have this one memorized yet. I'm gonna gotta get it together. Okay, there we go.
so that's it, or that was all I had planned to play. Um, uh, I, um, maybe I should play another thing because it's maybe not the perfect ending of a concert with the soft music, but maybe it is, you know, times are funny. Um, I'm thinking if I get my act together and get a microphone and stuff, I might do, um, all of these Telemann fantasies because I've always enjoyed playing them you know, ever since I was a kid. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to end with a short, short movement from the second Telemann fantasy, uh, the A minor, which is one of my favorites. Uh, and I need to practice, maybe I'll practice it in the next couple days. Um, but this is just this slow movement, really beautiful little movement. Well, thank you so much. That was kind of weird and wild. Uh, I've never done anything like that before, but it was kind of kind of fun. Um, I think I'd like to maybe do some more of those Telemann fantasies. I have a Vivian Fine piece that I'd love to play for you um, that I think pairs well with those. Um, and I have a ton of other music for Of All Alone. I'm thinking, depending how long we're locked down <laughs> yeah, alone, um, I'm locked down alone in my house. Um, I may put some more stuff out there, so if you want to send me a, um, a suggestion or, or something, I think I have almost all the music. So um, thanks again. Hope you all are surviving crazy times. Um, my best wishes to, to everybody and uh, all of our medical personnel and everybody working overtime and crazy and, and all the people locked up in their house too. Hope you are all doing well and um, hope to see you soon. If I end this live video now, oh, okay, I'm ending it.